Tampa. Eric Garcia, Andres Christensen, the new signing, and Roberto. In the midfield, it's the captain, Sergio Busquets, who really runs the show. Yeah, he really does. And in the last game, he's 34 years of age. In the last game, he had Gabby one side of him and Pedri the other side of him. He's 34. The two youngsters were 36, so just two years older between the two players. But yeah, but Busquets runs the show. But I'm going to be really intrigued to see Garcia and Christensen as well, the two centre-halves. They both played in the last game against Real Madrid. Robert Lewandowski will look for his first goal with Barcelona. Here's Juventus' is starting 11 for uh, Massimiliano Allegri, Wojciech Chesney in goal. Leonardo Bonucci back as the captain in the midfield or in the center of the defense. Oh, possibly in Lewandowski, maybe Haaland at Manchester City. And you then get hung out to dry a little bit. Got to go and play on the left hand side or maybe substitute quite a lot for Aubameyang. Maybe a little early for these Olays, but they are raining down from the Barca fans. Here they come. Barcelona on the new wing. Shot just wide. This money Dembele certainly has the green light whenever he won Munich. Lewandowski made it known he wanted to come to FC Barcelona. What a legend, over 600 goals in his career. Made it known, wouldn't <laughs> go anywhere else, refused to. I'm being Threw his polite. toys out of the pram. I'm being polite, man. You're being polite, and, and I like it. I'm cynical, Matt, I can be cynical, but yes, he did. He made it known, didn't he? Who sketched with the steal? Lewandowski! Oh, just over the bar from 22. Looking for that first goal for Barcelona. He might have thought he had it there. Yeah, and he doesn't care whether it's training, whether it's a pre-season friendly, whether it's the first game of the season. He wants to hit the back of the net. You saw him just sizing up the top corner there. Uses the player as a little block, a wall to curl around, but you got it. Well, that's to, this is where to try it, though. In the final third of the field, in pre-season, we've seen Lewandowski and Dembele taking too many touches and giving the ball away. Shot from Aubameyang just wide. And again, Barcelona close here in the opening minutes. Another giveaway from Juventus. Absolutely, all about the high pressure of Barcelona. Juventus giving the ball away time and time again. And this is where Aubameyang wants to be, in the centre of the park, in between the widths of the penalty area. There, in between the width of the goalpost, just drags the shot a little bit wide. It's early, but it feels like the goal is coming. Play from Aubameyang there to throw it back to Juventus. But a quick steal here from Barcelona. Oh, a good interception there, Zakaria. Alexandro tucked inside here, middle of the field. Di Maria, look at the speed. 34 years old, lays it off to Quadrado. In the area, Quadrado. Lays it back through the middle and no one there for Juventus. Angling legs there at the six. And a Juventus 4A forward just minutes ago here. We've had the hydration break, we're back at it. A little bit more pep in the step of Barcelona here after the hydration break. It's Dest, first time really on the football. Out wide Dembele. Dembele. Dembele cutting it back. In the 18. Dembele! Shot! Goal! Oh, what a moment of brilliance individually from Usmane Dembele. It's 1 0. Assist to the hydration break, Dave. I think that after the hydration break, they were very much on the front foot, Barcelona. So, Gino Dest, does he get an assist there? But what an individual moment of magic here from Dembele. Here he is, Dest. He'll claim that assist, lays it into Dembele. Now it's all about that young man. Twinkle toed, fleet of foot. And from that angle, he shouldn't be able to score. Chesney's not going to be happy with that. Cuts it back onto his right foot. It's a really tight angle. Yes, he smashes it underneath the goalkeeper, but the goalkeeper has to stand up big and strong there, not get beaten at that near post. It was funny, Dembele. Di Maria, haven't mentioned his name in the last 10 or 15 minutes. When anything has been going well for Juventus, it goes through Di Maria. And Di Maria has been finding those pockets of space in the middle of the field. Now he's out there hooking the touchline, getting chalk on his boots. I want to see him more in the centre of the park. Manucci starts up with a good ball. Locatelli out wide. Quadrado. Cross. Keen. Tied. Told you he can kick it with his left foot. Once a Keen kicks it right through the back of the net. 39th minute. We are all level. It's a terrific cross, this from Quadrado. But Serginho Dest isn't close enough. Doesn't he get. Tucked far too far in here, Serginho Dest. 
leaves himself far too much to do to get across. This is really half-hearted, just dangling a leg out. That's poor defending from Des, but what a great cross from Quadrado into that corridor of uncertainty. To Stegen can't come for it. Poor defending from Garcia as well. Moise Keane inside of the right foot. Thank you very much, 1-1. And Matty, dare I say, Moise Keane, very Robbie Keane like there in the middle. Just get the ball in the back of the net. And Keane made the good run through the center towards the six. Any excuse you like about the Heat, great teams make great plays. Both of these teams have done that though far, thus far. Dembele, he did it just moments ago. Dembele! Dembele! He does it again! It's 2-1! Sleep now, Juventus defense! Usmane Dembele is here at the Cotton Bowl! I don't care whether it's a testimonial, a pre-season friendly or a Champions League final. When you draw level, you then stay tough, you stay resolute and you take it to half-time at 1-1. This is dreadful defending. Quadrado half-hearted there. Nobody forces Dembele to get his head down whatsoever. No one gets close enough. Look at this defending from Quadrado. Just dangles a leg. Dembele says, thanks very much. I'll cut the ball back onto my left foot and I'll find that far corner. Magnificent from the young man. He can go both ways. Quadrado with his hands up. He doesn't want to tackle him. He's in the penalty area. Absolutely dreadful for Dembele. That's a talent right there. Nothing Chesney could do on that one, to be fair. It's 2-1 Barcelona in the 42nd minute. It's inside the offensive half. You see Rafinha in there. He's not really yet touched the football, to be fair. Near side. Oh, good ball into the channel there. Oh, Gavi, what a move. Cut off there at the last moment. Danilo still not out of trouble. Rafinha! Saved and over the bar. Shame on you for doubting Afinia, Dave Denholm. Wow, what a blast there. He is enjoying life here at Barcelona, isn't he, Matt? He really is, and Juventus give the ball away again, 25 yards out. His first couple of touches in this second half, Afinia gets it out of his feet, and he strikes it really well, and then trots over to take the corner. Left-footed out, swing and lit the pitch up here, didn't he, at the cotton bowl. Here in Dallas, he was quite magnificent. Dembele, I bet he wants to be out there still. He'd be Maria. desperate for a hat trick. What a touch. Oh, good ball there. Keon Reddick. Still loose. Into the area. Leg free. Goal! It's Keen again, and it's 2 2. Moise Keen is keeping up with the Dembele's tonight. And he's still out there. The hat trick still on for Moise Keen. The boos ring out around the Cotton Bowl as well. Predominantly Barcelona fans here, but what a ball this is from Di Maria. Just cut out by De Jong. And it's slightly fortuitous here as the ball ricochets into the path of Moise Keen. But look at Locatelli getting down again, doing the dirty work for his teammates. You see the fist pump by Locatelli after the goal is scored, right through the legs of Ter Stegen. And it's all tied at two early in the second half. What a game here at the Cotton Bowl tonight. Hit. Good step up there. Here comes Di Maria. Pass forward. Oh, open on the far side was Keane. He's on the uh, hat trick. It's a shot. Save there. And Yaki Pena made no mistake. Quadrado. Quadrado never afraid to take a hit from anywhere on the pitch. And he loves cutting in onto that right foot. It's a great strike from Quadrado. Not a particularly convincing save. That you will actually get the task here in the 68th minute. Wall is set. Referee still waiting. There is a player down behind the wall for Juventus. It's Fagioli. Afinha with the left foot. Here he comes. Off the woodwork. Ball still loose for Barcelona. Torres, Fati, towards the back post, off the woodwork again! 0 oh for 2, Barcelona! The first one from Havinha, up and over the wall and back down, just not back down quite enough. Perrin, 
absolutely stranded there. And this is the second one from Ansu Fati, just dinked towards that back stick. And Ricochet's back from just underneath the crossbar. Really unfortunate for them, Pasadena at the weekend. And then that long trip back to Spain. Obviously, Juventus as well, going back to Italy. 86th minute. If you're wondering about the league openers for both these sides, La Liga opener for Barcelona Saturday, August 13th against Rio Vallecano. Juve will start their Serie A campaign August 15th, taking on Sassuolo at the Allianz. Oh, forward on Depay on the deflection. Depay! Edge of the six, still in possession. Barca still in the attack. Into the middle, shot, save, loose! Depay just wide. Oh, and Perrine is down after making a great first save. Scrambling for the rebound, and Depay pushed it wide.